Now, again, we continue to the teaching of the uh, inner tantra. Among the inner tantra is the highest teaching, or is the peak of the Nayana teachings, and that is the Mahaati teaching. And within the Ati Yoga teaching, there is also divided as three sections the mind sections, spirit sections, feet and certain sections. So there is three sections, those are the teaching always mentioned. And among the feet and, and structural sections, there is also divided in four groups, outer, inner, and secret, and mostly secret. Those are the four groups. Among that four groups, today we are, or this time, we are following of the most secret teachings. And for that reason, is also known as the heart drop of the Mother and Rakinis. All, all the enlightenment, really, the essence, is the nugget, the enlightenment call it, or nugget the dharmakaya, we are really touching. We are discovering that dharmakaya, dharmakaya as the mirror image, as this great masters, as this great lineage, lineage practitioners discovered, today we are discovering of that. They all put as manual and tips how to follow that and discover our inner nature of Dharmakaya. So this is the greatest and most powerful, yet is the most so simple and so directed practices. For those reasons, again, we should always be great, grateful, joyful to many different levels. Being ourselves as human beings and wonderful. And not just only that, we have the 18 endowments. Not every living human being has that, and we have the 18 endowments. Not just only that, we are activating that endowment, in 18 endowment qualities, really, and practicing that. It is so wonderful, so special. Therefore, feel joy and happy ourselves, and feel joy and happy and gratitude to the lineage, masters, all the lineages, to the from the Buddha, some the Buddha or the Buddha Kyakyamuni, all the way, they preserve this teaching, teaching in a continuous, so we are able to kind of look to these teachings as much as we can and discover our innate nature. That's really so, so special. So those levels, we should always be grateful, joyful, feel very devoted, devotions from the heart, not just saying these things, but really from the core of heart, in the teachings, follow the like, examples of those great masters, Jing Mi Lumpa and Long Chimpa, and as well as Patro Rinpoche. So all I mean, though, we call the great masters. When we read the life story, how much they have, they just act as ordinary. But their devotion, their joyful effort to the Dharma, is just like mind bubbling. Really, so powerful, so simple. And they drawn to the earth, grown, not just kind of claiming this and that, this and that. Those, are, we say, the all emanation, they are there. Those are said by the students. They promoted them. them. I'm sure they are there. But themselves, sit, just a regular person, practice and meditate. But what we see, they actualize. They made the difference in their lives. Really, truly, they made. Where they act in the beginning and where they fulfill the goals, that is different. That is the nugget result, nugget is sign, evidence, they made some big changes in there. And so, they have fulfilled joy and happy and appreciation and the devotions. Together with that, and then compassion, loving kindness, compassion for all living beings. That is essence of this. Also, Dzogchen is bodhicitta. Bodhicitta. Dzogchen is the absolute bodhicitta. Absolute bodhicitta and relative bodhicitta is inseparable and identical, united. Relative bodhicitta is accumulation practice, the accumulation merit. And the wisdom, absolute merit bodhicitta is a wisdom merit. Wisdom merit and accumulation merit are needed in the teachings. Without that, we won't get realization. Devotion and the true merit is really so important. So important. And to activate those accumulation merits, the gracious teacher, Bodhacha Kamen, laid out so powerfully and beautifully those six parameters practices. Those are, for generally, all those five parameters are, according to the teaching, are accumulation practice. 
Wisdom is the Dokkhi practice, Paramatha. Wisdom is the par Paramatha of the Dokkhi meditation. So therefore, generating bodhicitta is so important and so necessary and to get enlightenment. This is also not just a kind of talking and thinking that, but trying to activate those up from the heart, really, as much as you can. Then that's all really makes it very, very special. So it's good for us now. It's good to have, have those thoughts. We, when we leave this world, also really will leave very confidence and joy and relief with kind of fulfillment. Really, we leave.